Hello. Want to give you a little tip so you don't want to like scream and shave your head or something like I feel. Um, I was canning ground chuck the other day and I had almost exactly three pounds left and I love having it canned and ready to dump into something. Um, you know, make spaghetti and tacos. If you have anything like hamburger helper, whether it's you know, like a make it your own or what. Um, these are handy to just have them done and ready. And <clears throat> I thought I was making these actually to put the meat in spaghetti. And, you know, one can of sauce hasn't been enough. And two is kind of overkill. So I thought, well, while I'm canning the ground chuck, I'll go ahead and split a can of tomato paste between the three jars, which I did, a third of it in each jar. And I poured a little bit of water in, which I normally don't, canning raw meat. <clears throat> I don't think I browned this, I don't remember. But I put a little bit of water in for the tomato paste, yes, I canned it raw, and thought the, you know, the, the, the grease and the liquid boiled out of the meat would blend with the tomato paste and you know it would be hamburger in tomato sauce and that would help stretch the spaghetti sauce it's a lovely idea in theory and it just needs tweaked a little bit i i plop the tomato paste on top and, you know, into the canning process, I smelled something burning. This one, you can't see in it, but it looks black. So does this one. So I would say, certainly when they're opened, probably every one of these will go in the trash. If you've canned anything, you know you didn't can it. You didn't do the work to open it up and throw it in the trash. So, here's my thing. Next time, <clears throat> get the tomato sauce out, stir it with a little bit of water, so it goes in more like a liquid form, not some blob on top to fry, and looks like, this one looks like I just put a little brick charcoal in there. I, you know, like I said, it's, it's not showing up good, but how hideous. So there's three pounds of ground chuck. At least it was on sale, but still, two forty nine a pound. There's seven fifty in meat right there. Now there's three jars. <coughs> Plus the we use distilled water and the can of tomato paste. And then, you know, the time that it took to bring the canner to a boil and I mean there was other things in there, but still, you know, each one it's a fraction it breaks down and you know it cost to do it period to keep the can or get it to boil you know get it to heat when it has to build up steam then it vents for 10 minutes then you put the weight on and then it has to come up again and then it goes actually for 90 minutes because I had I had a double decker <clears throat> I had a full seven pints in the bottom and uh, quartz, 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 and six pints of things on top, I think. And I was going to make sloppy joe. We've been wanting sloppy joe. We've been wanting um, spaghetti. So that would have been like enough for both. So I thought, well, it's <clears throat> still on sale. We could grab some more. I could go ahead and can these since I have room in the canner. OMG, should have just ate the stuff. <clears throat> anyway. If you try this, mix it down in, however you care to stir it in, but it can't be just a blob on top, learn from me. Anyway, like I said, I think it's good in theory, but it's in execution, apparently tomato paste doesn't love the canning process. Anyway, that's a little tip two ways for you, what to do and what not to do. And that's all for this one. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Ciao for now. And ain't no ciao for later on this one. It burn up.